This is a quick start guide for the Javad Triumph LS receiver and the Javad Triumph 1 base receiver. And we're going to start by turning on the Triumph 1 base, the internal radio. On the Javad receiver from the home screen, we're going to go over to where it says Setup Remote. You see our base is loaded in there already. I'm going to connect to the base. You can see here on the base the Bluetooth light is green, so that means that we have a connection between the two. We're going to hit next on the LS. We're going to load in and transfer the predefined settings for the base receiver and then press next As, so this connection is established we'll push next and choose the frequency that we want to use press select and press next the power output set at 30 Measure our height and feet. And on the Triumph 1, we're measuring to this mark to the bottom. Press OK to enter and then next. After the settings are applied, the base will begin averaging its position. And you can press done. Verify on the base receiver that this light, the third light for the radio is green. Uh, the Bluetooth connection is now turned off because we don't need to talk to this receiver anymore by Bluetooth. Once we have the base running, we press the home button, which brings us back to the first page. And from there, we're going to load our rover settings. So we'll choose recall. Rover. Press yes. And then back from the home screen. Go into the collect screen, which gives you the ability to create a new name for your project, select which page, coordinate system, input any tags or codes or attributes that you want to. You'll want to measure your antenna height for your rover. If you're using the monopod and you have it fully extended, it's 1.65 meters. Press OK. We'll automatically convert that to feet. Press Next. Now you're in the collection screen. From here you can see that your radio reception is green and OK. So that means we're receiving reception from your radio. Here you can see your this acts as your level bubble, um, showing you whether you're completely level or not. Uh, the 45, 44 is your compass bearing. As you turn that, your compass will turn uh, based off of the north. Up here is your six-pack configuration. It shows you the number of independent fixes you have on this position. You can change your default down here to the minimum number that you want to have for your accuracy. And to begin collecting a point, start. After a two second delay, we'll begin averaging your position. 
You can allow this to continue as long as you want. When you're satisfied, you press stop. And again, it gives you a display of your accuracies. Press accept to record the point. All of these buttons along the sides are configurable. You tap on the button and you tell it what you want to put in there. I like to put the page. If you need to change something, just tap and hold it. HRMS, VRMS, and static recording along this side. On this side, I would normally put in the point name, and access for point description. The remaining two boxes you can put in uh, tags or codes or attributes or whatever you want. So this is the quick setup for the Triumph LS, connecting to a Triumph 1 base. Uh, from here you'll want to go into the localization, which is uh, described in detail in the manual.